Thanks for watching with us this morning. Each year, Green Bay's Saturday Farmer's Market brings in people by the thousands. And this weekend, they're kicking off their 102nd season. Our NBC 26's Jennifer Naz is live with a preview. Jen? Good morning. We're here on Washington and Walnut in Green Bay, which is one of the starting points of the Green Bay Saturday Farmer's Market. And we've got Darren here with us from Ledgeview Gardens. And Darren, you have had a connection to this market for a long time. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, absolutely. Um, my dad actually started coming to the farmer's market uh, a number of years ago uh, when I was real young. Uh, always had a big garden, uh, came and sold his extra stuff. And then uh, we had a couple years off and then we started Ledger Gardens. Um, and we've been in business 19 years, coming to Saturday market uh, every Saturday since. Yeah, and Darren and I were talking about, you know, how there's just nothing like farm fresh produce. It is night and day compared to going to the grocery store. So can you tell us a little bit about the different produce that you've got for us here today? Sure. Um, a big portion of our business is hydroponics. So we actually diversify inside the greenhouses a little bit. So what you're looking at here is uh, green and yellow pole beans. Uh, we have zucchini, uh, cucumbers, some mixed lettuce, our cherry tomatoes. And then uh, the only outdoor product we have right now is our asparagus. Um, it's just been cold, wet, and everything's a little bit behind, but we're trying to get everything together as fast as we can to get to the markets this season. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was going to say, you guys must have had a hard year with all of the bad weather, but what would you say is your favorite thing that you sell? Oh, by far our tomatoes. They're sweet, uh, juicy. It's the first thing we look forward to every year, that first BLT, the first cherry tomatoes, putting them on a salad. Uh, those are by far the, you know, the first uh, crops of the season that we really look forward to. And, and then as the season changes, those change too. <laughs> and any recommendations you've got for the community when coming to the farmer's market or why they should come? Um, I always like to say vote with your wallet. If this, if a farmer's market and fresh vegetables and uh, local things is what you want to see, buy more of it. That's the way to do it. Um, if you're going to go to the grocery store, you're supporting you know, a grocery store or farms that aren't in Wisconsin or in your local area. So try to keep our money local and shop local. Yeah, we'll definitely come out and support these local businesses and get some great produce. They're so delicious and make sure you get here early on Saturday because things are going to just fly off these tables. So make sure you get here early and get what you need. And if you need more information, you can head to our website, NBC26.com. Back to you in the studio. All right. Thank you so much, Jen. That was like the most beautiful display of vegetables I've ever seen. They all looked so perfect. Yesterday, uh, Jennifer was asking you, like, oh, Brooke, how do you keep your hair so nice? And you're like, vegetables? <laughs> I did tell her yeah. I eat a lot of vegetables. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah. So there you her. go. Eat your vegetable, kids. Shiny you know, hair, nice yeah. skin there. Yeah.